Hello, everybody. I just wanted to come at you with a little bit of a news flash here. I'm sure everyone has already heard, but for once, I was right. The jury came back with a not guilty on all counts verdict for Kyle Rittenhouse. Now, he's not completely out of the woods yet. The trial for the straw purchase has been postponed until after this trial was completed, but that trial is mainly for the adult who facilitated the purchase, not for Kyle Rittenhouse. He's like, I guess you would say a minor defendant in it. So he's probably not going to get much for that. Uh, in fact, I said if he was my kid, what I would do is make him clean his room and uh, do some uh, uh, public service work, going around helping other kids, you know, avoid trouble, you know, tell them, here, this is the things you do if you want to uh, go out and be active. Uh, these are the precautions you take. Uh, but uh, really happy to see this uh, announcement this morning. And I'm sure everyone else out there is too. Uh, well, some people are not. Some people wanted him to fry simply so they could make a point. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, this means now you can provoke a fight and shoot people. No, that's not what this means at all. What this means is you can't attack someone just because you're triggered, just because you don't like what they're doing. If they're not breaking any laws, you can't just go attack them. If you do attack them and you become a threat to them, they can deal with you in a legal manner, self-defense. That's what this means. It doesn't mean anything else. It doesn't mean you can go up and start fights while you're armed and then end them because you want to. Because Kyle Rittenhouse didn't start any fights. He didn't do anything wrong. So that's what this means. It means when you are not doing anything wrong and someone attacks you because they're either a crazy asshole or they are triggered by your behavior, that doesn't give them the right to endanger you. And that's something that's been held by the legal system for many years. This verdict changes nothing for those people out there saying, oh, this just gives white people a, a free card to go kill whoever they want if they start trouble. That's just garbage and a total misrepresentation of the case. So wanted to say uh, congratulations, I guess, to Kyle for being found not guilty, even though we all knew he already wasn't guilty. Uh, and I actually kind of wanted to... Uh, alter what I had said before a little bit because I said I'd make him clean his room and do some public service. If I was the judge or his parents in this next trial, I would say to him, you know what? You were a part of the junior police department or whatever it was. You've shown you want to be part of the community and help people. Uh, I'm going to recommend you for the police department. I'm going to recommend you for uh, the academy. I think it would be great. I think people now are saying he should be forbidden from ever becoming a police officer. No, I think he'd be perfect to be a police officer. He's already shown that he cares uh, enough to where he put his own life in danger. And he reacted pretty damn well under stress for a 17-year-old. Probably better than a lot of us adults would. So that coupled with the fact that he now knows what it's like to be on the opposite side of the law, even if it's unjustly, that will help him temper how he treats people, I think. So I think he'd be a perfect candidate for the police academy. And I think the judge should say, hey, you want to join the police academy? I will recommend you. Because like I said right now, I think he'd be a perfect candidate. So what better punishment than letting him be a police officer if he actually wants to be one? Uh, so... I uh, just wanted to like share the news with people today. I, I will actually be able to now upload this because I'm going to go down to the gun shop here in a few minutes. So I thought I'd go ahead and film something real quick, put it up there, just to say, thankfully for once I was right. And Kyle Rittenhouse, like I said, is cleared of all the charges against him, uh, at least concerning this trial. And like I said, I think he'd make a great police officer in the future. He's definitely someone I'd recommend, and I hope the judge agrees with me. Maybe... He'd even want to join the Kenosha Police Department.